Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another video and for today's video guys, we have something absolutely just devastating to go over and that is Koneko Ken just got exposed for grooming minors. Like, this is absolutely just terrible news. But before we start this video guys, I'm about to ask if we can hit 30 likes on this video because if we hit 30 likes on this video, it means you will have the best Halloween in the world. Okay, so if you want the best Halloween party, make sure to like today's video. But anyways, let's get on to today's video. So the first thing I do want to go over today is is super devastating like when i heard about this news i was left in just utter shock just disappointment and i, I just can't believe that so many roblox youtube like guys this year there are so many roblox youtubers roblox developers just getting exposed for grooming like this is the 10th roblox youtuber or developer getting exposed and koneko kitten today i mean or yesterday uh was exposed for grooming minors um so it it's it it's been proven that koneko was talking to narpy when narpy was only 17 years old and they were treading some very very explicit messages okay like so explicit like you can't be talking like that to a 17 year old type of messages like it was role play it was super disgusting uh if you want like to read every messages that they sent you can watch parlo's latest video or narpi's latest video uh basically they talked about some some very sexual stuff the very sexual role plays they even traded nudes i heard that narpi gave koneko nudes when he was only 17 and koneko was 20 years old when it was taking place so yeah very disgusting stuff uh, very disgusting behavior absolutely unacceptable it's just very disgusting and also allegedly i don't know if this is true uh koneko was also talking to a different minor who was only 16 uh they were trading also very disgusting messages and just inappropriate mess just very inappropriate stuff all around the board uh and koneko is this is the first time i've ever seen a predator like just own up to it like koneko is not defending himself like he's admitting to these uh messages he's actually giving narpy uh credit for taking the story to public and he's not defending himself he's owning up to it uh he's apologizing for his past actions he's apologizing for being a terrible person this all took place like four years ago and he's like koneko is like yeah i was a bad person back then i was disgusting what i did is unjustifiable uh he's gonna take time off of the internet and focus on himself now he's no longer gonna be posting on youtube he's gonna take time and just try to be a better person uh yeah basically just going to be taking a break and he's not defending himself which is really surprising because most most predators almost all predators always try to defend themselves but koneko is straight up being like yeah i i screwed up like i'm sorry this is really messed up i own up to it this broke like two days ago or yesterday by narpy uh, he basically addressed the situation, uh, even uh, de debunked some claims that Koneko was making. But Koneko allegedly at, at first was def like, like his apology was bad. Like it wasn't good apology. Like he was trying to manipulate the story. But Koneko is now owning up to that too. Like he's so he's apologizing for at first manipulating the story he first lied about it but narpi addressed his lies and koneko's like yeah you know what i'm just gonna do it i lied in my apology video i screwed up i'm the one who's at fault and this sucks like I, koneko is literally my inspiration like he was one of my biggest inspirations to start a commentary channel and to see him do this type of stuff is, is is super devastating like i used to watch all of his videos every single day from school I would come home and watch Koneko Kitten because he just made some good Roblox videos. Like I really enjoyed his Roblox commentary videos, his Roblox news videos. And that's why he motivated me to start my own channel because he did so well. And I was like, damn, I can do this too. Like he gave me so much inspiration and to see him talk to minors, exchange nude photos and just do super disgusting stuff like this. Like Koneko was literally like is literally the last person i expect from the roblox community to get exposed for something so disgusting like this i, I was just so shocked I, I i didn't know what to think like I, I don't know what to think still like i'm just super, i'm so disappointed that one of my favorite roblox youtubers is doing stuff like this like i just don't get why so many roblox youtubers like every time a roblox youtuber gets famous they just end up getting exposed for doing something terrible like either grooming or just being a overall like a bad person 
like every time like they get famous and i promise you guys right here i swear on the bible guys that i will not be getting exposed for this too okay when i get famous whenever that time comes i swear to god i'm not going to groom any kids okay i swear to god uh, i'm not going to do anything bad like i know you guys are probably having a very hard time trusting roblox youtubers now because it just seems like every roblox youtuber is getting exposed for being a groomer but i swear to you guys i'm not gonna do this but anyways yeah in all seriousness this sucks like this absolutely sucks uh i'm kind of like glad that koneko is owning up to it like that actually gives me some respect to him uh, he's not actually defending himself he's actually like owning up to it he's not giving any bs um but yeah uh let me know down below in the comments on your guys thoughts about this yeah this sucks man this absolutely just sucks like he was one of my biggest inspirations i, I hope i hope he gets help he did say he's getting help he, he's gonna focus on himself and see what he can do to be a better person and hopefully get therapy like i know he's changed a lot since like he's been posting on his other channel his uh, like gym journeys his health journey like he's basically like doing whole different things now trying to be a better version of himself i, I don't know if Kone i don't think koneko can come back from this like i think his reputation is completely screwed now like it, it's it's over for him like this is it's over like it's done um i see some people still defending koneko i mean i i get why they are defending koneko but at the same time you know predators are predators you know once you mess with kids your your reputation is screwed like you're it's over like it's done and i think koneko knows that which is why he's not going to come back from youtube uh but anyways you guys that is going to be it for today's video if you have enjoyed this video today make sure to slap that like button and that red sub button to support me and my channel but anyways you guys uh peace out this this just this really just sucks okay 19 dollar fortnite card who wants it and yes i'm giving it away Remember, share, share, share. And trolls, don't get blocked.